Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. It's a ladder game on Fields of Thunder V2. 5x5 five five kilometer map between Tour and Tour and Bar. Apache up here. Seraphim. And Blast Shield playing UEF. Don't see Blast Shield playing ladder very often. Probably because he has a nice rating. Poor Turin has lost a lot of his points somehow. Not sure who he lost them to. That's a paused ACU. He's building X's with four pigeons. What's this build? This looks very strange. So he's also now going to the Hydro. He's going to build four pigeons and then. I mean, that's that has to be a power stall. There's no way that build works. What the hell are you thinking, man? <laughs> gonna have to leave. He should walk with his ACU to the Hydro, maybe. Just spam the Hydro as fast as he can to save this, perhaps. Or maybe he could have used this engineer to help build the power. Oh, man, he completely fucked it. So Blast Shield doing a normal build order, makes one mech, one pigeon, mexes, walks to the Hydra with his ACU, you should walk to the Hydra with your ACU on this map, so the feature, what is the main feature of this map, reclaim, tons and tons of reclaim in mid, and on the side in the corner, and on this mountain, shit ton of reclaim, so this map, you need a lot of engineers to reclaim and to build factories and pigeons. You're gonna scale. You gotta scale real fast in this in this map. So, see, so we have three guys here building factories. Torn's building a factory with his ACU, and he has another engineer here building pigeons because he has all this reclaim just in the just in the opening build you have all this reclaim up here tons of it which you pretty much have to manually reclaim because this tiny cactus in the way that take forever to reclaim on their own so you have to kind of click on all the rocks and he's actually going to manage to use almost all these rocks without wasting any mass so that's he's definitely salvaged this build order <laughs> see again just the amount of build power being in being used at the start we have six engineers building right now probably gonna add maybe or at least keep up that amount while he gets reclaimed from mid which is where the ACU is going quite common to get PDs in mid but often they will just shoot the ground so you want to be very careful where you place them if you place them like on the edge of the ring of this creator like here that would be it's pretty decent bomber from blast shield let's see what's going on with him see also no both guys no no wasted resources and this bomber given that build power is so important <laughs> it can do a lot it's also you know even even if he doesn't kill the engineers, they're going idle. They have to try and dodge. Where is he going? Got the expanding engineer being targeted. Dodge from Torin is good. Can be quite hard to dodge UEF bombers. Sometimes they decide to just drop their bombs directly or just almost track you as you dodge. Second bomber out now. If I only see one anti-air and oh we have a second one we're gonna need more than that though blast shield now just about I think he may have stalled slightly but he just got some more reclaim Torin now because he's been idle it's actually wasting resources because because he's too busy trying to avoid letting his engineers die to the to the bombers and these bombers just staying alive 
poor Seraph and Mobile End here needs to be fixed. I gotta get this patch out. At some stage. So, four kills on this guy, one kill on this guy. And... Torn has a lot of units in his base now that could be out here killing. So, Torn focusing a lot of his tanks over here. Oh my god, the bombs are destroying him. This is a good area to attack because you're, you really want to get uh, your expansion mexes here and also get factories up in this location so that it is more secure from raids because this is actually more reclaim than there is in in these patches here this is actually more important the later the game goes on <clears throat> if you can take your corner if you can raid your opponent's corner then you're gonna be doing real well right now blast shield has a slight advantage he has more more mexes these were denied for Torrin. In terms of reclaim though, Torrin is ahead. But there's still plenty to take. That's one of the things about this map, you don't have to rush. I mean, you don't have to worry about there being no mass to grab. It's still going to be there. Your opponent can't really use even very much of it at the start. So I think rushing with the ACU to mid is... But you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to rush too fast because if you're a bit later and you have maybe you can use your build capacity for your ACU at home, then you could well be in a better spot than your opponent who just rushes straight to mid to try and get that reclaim because he's only going to be able to use a small amount of it anyway. Right now, Torrent with a good lead. Mass stalling now. Getting factories up on the front is probably going to be used to get some reclaim. Spam more tanks. He should fix this uh, rally point back here. A lot of wasted time on these tanks. Let's see the factories. 11. For Torrent. Last shield, similar. Oh, only seven. No, sorry, eight, nine. And an air factory. So, yes, very similar. Torrent's still ahead on reclaim, but this raid is gonna deny quite a lot of reclaim here. And there's no factory up in the corner spots. I think it's really. should be getting factories like this one. Because now even if a raid comes in, it's unlikely to actually kill the factory. <laughs> and you get your build power out faster again to start reclaiming. Torrent complete control of this area. And all this streak time is going to go to him and that's... That still can't really afford to just give... Give Torrin this. I mean Torrin probably needs to just spam those reclaim orders now. That's what he's doing. few misses but good enough so the army composition we have 14 adir so that's plenty to deal with even with the weaker seraphim out here plenty to do with any bombers to come in they're not going to get more than one pass 60 tanks 20 arties so i think we're going to see more and more arties mixed in for Torin as the game goes on because the armies are going to get very large and we're going to be in the ACU combat. And the map is small, so he can micro back and forth with those arties, do a lot of damage, stay out of range, and it's unlikely to miss when there's armies of this size. The, the arty shells aren't going to be dodged. And against the ACU, they do huge amounts of damage. Absolutely huge. So more and more arties in the mix. Both commanders basically on full HP haven't really been battling too hard. It's mostly been well moving back and forth, trying to get a raid off to the to the corner. Torn's still ahead on reclaim and Blast Shield has actually cleaned up most of his mountain here. Still has the corner. 
and even though they're still reclaiming mid. Now, he's moving into position to try and grab some of this, but he's not being able to spend his mass right now. This is about the time where you click up mechs, and in fact, Torrent is well ahead on that. Look at that, three T2 mechs already. He's probably upgrading more as we speak. Yeah, this one is almost upgraded. And he has tons of reclaim. So if Torrent can secure this reclaim, then he's going to be in a great spot. Blast Shield really needs to, to focus on this. He's been using a lot of reclaim, and I think Torn definitely Torn definitely got more reclaim in mid, I would say, from the way he was using his ACU. T1 spam battle continues. Bomber comes in to kill build power that was reclaiming and building a PD. A nice kill. May see T2 at some point. I think uh, pretty soon from, from one of these guys we'll see T2. Because you can't really afford to have a lot of mexes upgraded and then take too long to get to T2 in case you get TML'd. Big commitment from both players now in this fight. Only seven Lobos for Blast Shield, mostly tanks for him. I think that might be a bit of a mistake. You want a lot more, a lot more arties than that in this kind of scenario. See the arty shells raining in as he falls back, killing tanks, doing damage to the commander. These arties are getting kills and doing a lot of damage. Commander is farming vet very nicely. 38 kills, 1600 mass killed. Bombers on standby, and more mechs is being upgraded. This one 60%, this one 20. Torn just in a holding position. He just just gonna upgrade mechs. Try and gain a lead that way. He can't see what his opponent has, but he knows he has no more than three T2 mechs. He's certainly ahead on Eco, and he still has all this mass. Look at all of it. Blast is gone. So Torn has to not suicide. This is a crucial, crucial point. Don't suicide. He took a little dip there, but he's retreating now. You can see the panic, the panic move, just sending quicks and all the tanks to support the ACU. But another vet back to 10,000 HP. The raid getting past these walls have holes in them. Nice idea to make walls though. Underutilized unit. The tank killed by the scout. The blast shield only has one vet right now. Torrent on his second so better AC usage from from Torin more kills and last chill still trying to raid there's still so much mass here so I think blast needs some plan to to access this this mass right now but it's it's very difficult as this player to to get much of this I mean yeah I don't really know what he can do there we look at the mexes these are not upgrading this one is and he has three in the base and t2 land has been started by torrent finally They're even on reclaim right now, but we'll see how that changes once this disappears. He has engineers now reclaiming the area. Needs to add more, maybe a bit more power. Certainly, 
Uh, commander upgrade. The gun upgrade is really, really strong on this map. On any 5x5 map. But he's not really in a position to make a commander upgrade with this kind of power income. Considering how much mass he has, it's just uh, too much of a power drain. Bomber's coming in. And I think he, he targeted this this max. But it wasn't upgrading. It is good to target uh, mechs as you suspect to be upgrading with some cheap attacks. Because maybe you kill a, a T1 max that is going to T2. It's almost at T2 and it gets killed. It can be very effective. T2 land is complete for Torrent. And yeah, I think this is a pretty dominating game right now. Even though you can see the score, very similar, mass similar. But that doesn't really tell the whole story. Because Torin does have control of the map. Looks like he has more units of that 40. Yeah, he just has more units. And the gun... For blast shield being assisted heavily, all of his mass going into that right now, and will it be enough? Is it too little, too late? Gun is complete, and he moves out. Let's see what he can kill. Now it's going to be good for him if he, if he had, f well, he can uh, secure some of this reclaim. He can push back. Oh, that's a T2PD from Torin. <laughs> Let's look at the, the location of this. You have to very carefully choose the location of your Seraphim T2BDs on this map. Torrance Commander taking fire from the ACU. And an overcharge goes in. <laughs> well, that's a pretty damn good spot for some T2PDs. And look, nothing can get past here. There's a small gap over here that Blastchill is running through, but still ta he's losing tanks. And Torn has to run away. He can't afford to die here. He needs time to get an upgrade. Or just a lot more T2PD in the different areas. Blastchill's commander gaining HP as he vets on all of these juicy T1 land units. A lot of overcharges going in. Not much reclaim being left behind though. And that's that's critical. You can see Torn saving his units. He's not committing. Just retreating to where he can. And Blast has a very limited area he can actually run into. If he runs in after these PDs, likely to lose a lot of HP, a lot of tanks, and then Torn will support with all of his units and his ACU here. And that would be a dangerous fight over here though. Oh, this these are nice kills here. These T2PDs, or T2 Mexes, I should say. And maybe, maybe he could even get some reclaim. But his army, well, he's protecting it well. Still has a good, good size army. Let's see, Torin, Torin's army actually smaller now. He's actually paused his production. And he's just... <laughs> he's going to trap Blast Shield on his side of the map with this T2PD spam. He's creeping up. This is an upgrading factory that's going to be in range of T2PD now and it's going to have to be cancelled as Blast Shield continues fighting. And now Turn is actually suiciding all of his units into a now full HP UEF gun commander. Final vet has arrived. And he's just killing everything. Now his units are running out though, and he can't get any reinforcements in. Look at this. The position of this ED. They're actually missing these tanks quite frequently. Relatively frequently. And this this factory is 
for sure tonight. That's a T2 RT. Such a strange looking thing. That T2 RT is now in range of basically all the power of of Blast Shield. Maybe going after Pigeons would be the right option. This is no longer upgrading. It's been cancelled, surely. Oh, it is still upgrading. That's a bad waste of mass. And now, Blast Shield has run out of units, almost, with his commander. Now, he has a massive mass field. He's killed T2 mechs. Those would be great to, to reclaim. Put down a T1 mechs on those. Get 1300 mass back. But what can he do without T2 land? There's nothing to be done versus all these T2 PDs. His units have a rally point directly in range of all of them. <laughs> Turner just keeps making more. He's making T2 P gen now. And he's just gonna ignore the commander. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> he's gonna shoot the commander with T2 RT. <laughs> And he could kill, could kill all the pigeons, kill various factories. Blast shield says meh. Oh, he's getting. No, he hasn't. He hasn't taken any shots from the RT just yet. I really want to see if he hits. Friendly fire. Now it's shield at the front. T2PD. Not even bothering with commander upgrade. And blast shield is... It's going to die here. I think he just wants to be... Wants to be killed at this point. Not really trying too hard to dodge. The RT continues to miss. Not a very good anti commander unit. And that's it. So well played. Torn and Blast. Yeah, better well more economy from from Torin earlier. And also I think I think Torn got more of the mid mass. And then after that always had this bank of of Ass on the right. The game was basically even, but Blast had used all of this. Torn still had a lot of this, and very hard to deny access to this for any long period of time. So Torn just held on to his advantage and then, well, converted his advantage into <laughs> these T2 PDs and just creeped all the way up. Gotta love. That T2PD creep. Ancient strats. Ancient strats. Still work today. So thanks for watching. See you next time.